I don't know which one you're saying really to. If it was All my right. smuggling joke or... <laughs> Hi, Scott. Hi. Smuggling joke? What do you mean? <laughs> Talking about you going to the UK for conventions and how it's hard to profit off of that or even afford that. And I was joking about how Izzy is always flying between America and where uh, she is. It's like, you know, have you ever considered taking some comic books back with you to help us sell at conventions? Uh -huh. Who's going to be my uh, American representative yeah, there? Exactly, Izzy. Well, I was just joking about the smuggling. I wouldn't actually do it unless I got away with it. <laughs> unless I got away with it. Excellent. I mean, technically, I'm smuggled. <laughs> like, that's not a joke. I am technically smuggled goods of, of uh, Canada. Oh my god, Russell. <laughs> if you have to add Gunny too, because we're we're both the creators of Star Warriors, if that makes sense, right, Gunny? Yeah. You wouldn't let me go alone to Confuzzled, would you? I mean, I might. <laughs> Money and time and everything. I don't know. We don't have to see. I'm tech. <laughs> I'm technically <laughs> contraband, or at least I used to be considered contraband. <laughs> It's a whole story, but I, I might as well tell it now. I used to work on a tall ship uh, for a short period of time, and we were in the Great Lakes, and I was below decks, and the current person in training that was steering the ship or navigating the ship uh, crossed the uh, border into Canada and was spotted by a uh, patrol on, Can on Canada's side. Uh, we weren't supposed to cross that border. It wasn't legal. Um, and... Everybody in the crew was accounted for in, in, in paperwork to declare us re-entering the country later, except for me. Uh, we reached the United States, and I am accounted for, but I'm not on the paperwork. So I was considered to have been smuggled into the country from Canada. And it didn't help that my birth certificate, my uh, papers, and my social security were lost to fire. So I had no means of identifying that I was a U.S. citizen. So I think for around 10 or so years, I was considered a Canadian contraband as an illegal immigrant. That's my story. But that's been solved I, by now. So. Yeah, why I didn't have photo ID until I was like 27 years old. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. But, yeah, but it's all resolved. Let's get down to brass tags. Oh, but first... This page has an edit. Do you spot it, chat? All covers of Anthrax have an edit. I removed the Roman numerals. There's, there's more to this page that's an edit than that. The Roman numerals... Oh god, put cereal in my mouth. The Roman numerals were in the bottom of the Star Wars logo, in between the chapter. So, <laughs> yeah, we uh, we also uh, there's a few edits there too. Gaia has the proper uh, emblem. And the glow. And glow. Yep. And the title of the chapter. Oh yeah, the, the title of the chapter has changed. Yeah, it used to be Reaching Claw, now it's Past Regrets. Take care. I see you. Alright, All right. you ready? Yes. How about you, you take the next page? Because mm. I've been talking to people. Sure. Mortals that, mortals that feel a strong desire of hope in their hearts can cast a star upon the skies. We protect these wishes to ensure their wishes come true. No wish is too small for us, even for someone as small as me. To help the universe in this way, we give up something very precious after we die. We give up our reincarnation for eternity. Eternity is a long time. Long enough for some to develop regret. I don't regret my afterlife anymore. But it is taxing. I must remain calm. Even after everything that went on today, the council needs to meet to be as calm as I can be. 
A lot of edits on this page. Yeah. No, like, oh, I uh, can't. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of this nonsense. Yeah, just all clarifications, telling a better story, being more concise. Forward. Also, getting rid of the whole emotions bad thing. Oh, That's yeah. not a thing anymore. That, that one cascading issue that happened from the very beginning. Yeah. He's very small. Yeah, he is very tiny. All right, next page. Yes. Yep. I'll read it again since you were talking. We must keep hope alive. Isn't that right, Skepsy? So how can I? I can feel them coming back. Go about the dud. I am defective. It's not working anymore. Calm is your greatest tool in any fight. Mortals depend on us to protect their hopes and dreams. Back then, I was as calm as I could ever be. Then why? I'm not ready to let it all come back. I can see it in you. All you went through. You're a strong while. Thanks, but I'm nothing like Captain Savara. He's the strong one. Hey now, you may be one of the founding gods of Polaris, but you're very brave. Oh, come on. I'm not as brave as you think. Ha 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 ha. And I'm still not. Lots of edits. Lots of edits again. Page. Also, very important for... Uh, also, for our peace service too, honestly. One of the founding gods of Polaris. <laughs> That is a very important detail. It's always been the case, but I've never shown it because... What was the reason again? You, you, were, you were holding your cards too tight. Yeah. Oh, because I had to be like... Oh, no, I can't say that because that's spoilers. Damn it. Careful. Yeah, I gotta be really careful. Yeah, Savra confirmed God, page one. Yep. Yeah. We can move on to page three. No time for surprise. No time for fear, anger. No time for contempt, disgust. No time for sadness. No time for joy. No, not yet. You move on to the next page immediately. Nothing changed there, honestly. Except for the eye thing, I guess, if you want to talk about that. It will be spoilers later. Scott was about to leak something that's not been written yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they were trying to poke there, but nice try. <laughs> Gunny? Okay. Gunny? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're on page four, not three. No, I know, but uh, I, I was asking if you wanted to talk about the eye thing. Oh, eye thing? Yeah. Oh. Top left. Oh, yeah. Everybody, not, not everybody, no. It was specifically Blaze. Blaze, if you're here, this is your fault. Uh, <laughs> pointing out the whole eye color changing thing. It's like, oh, yeah, that was an issue. It's just the disease, which you'll learn about later, but like, it's just the disease causing the eyes to change, which is a thing. You can look it up. Your mm -hmm. eye color can change based on some diseases. Very subtle, but it's there, and it explains the whole eye color change. Oh, Giga was curious, too. This is hilarious. Uh, Super person, good dude, please identify. It's Anthrax. I must meet with the Arcane Council at once. I have brought the suspect. Good days now, up and look and duck, sir. I can't believe this day's going so long. Would you Push! like the Walker special? Huh? <laughs> Would you like the Whopper special? Yeah, we like the, the, the Angry Whopper. The Angry Whopper, yeah. <laughs> okay, back it. Bush. Despite what I think of this suspected Star War, sort of suspected warrior. My bad. We must confront the Council, where my arcane peers and Stella Major will judge her case. I did see with my own eyes how she accepted the darkness, but I, I can't let my feelings interfere, no matter how bad I want to. This will take us to the council. Go, Esmeralda. You're making it canon now that Polaris intercoms sound like a fast food drive through Warrior <laughs> from Sector uh, Gate C, please. Oh, no. We don't have the special chicken nugget this time around. Come back another time. 
advanced page. Yeah, your turn to read. While I eat these, cereal. These humans are weird to me, but this one worries me the most. He has been sitting there even though we eat the food from his den. Do humans sleep? Do they go other places? Do they eat? The white stones that hold his fire, they are nearly gone. And worst of all, he's growing that on his skin. This human it is absolutely clear. This human is a monster even to other humans. I must do something or it will spread. Hey, are you sleeping? Where are we going? Is she the same? I was meditating. We're going to the council for your trial, Fox, and show us Arcane's respect. We are your superiors. Uh, honestly, Anthrax, just give it a break. The Polaris. Things, uh, to, to note here. Yeah, good. One, Weaver is not calling Anthrax Anthe anymore. Yeah. That's Anthe is not Anthrax's name anymore. It's just Anthrax. It's not even his nickname. It's nothing that has to do with Anthrax. Anthe is Anthe. Anthrax is Anthrax. Uh, and the one is we rewrote the dialogue here to help tell Anthrax's backstory a little bit better. Everyone's like, thank you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> For those of you who are new and reading along with us, you probably don't understand why it's significant. Just know that two characters were called Anthe. Yeah. That was very confusing. It was That's not the case anymore. I was still trying to be Tumblr cryptic. It was like, oh my god, that person who had the same name, it confused everything, right? It was like, no, that doesn't work for the dialogue, or it doesn't work for the story. Stories are meant to make sense, not be Tumblr confusing. Yeah. So, also, Anthrax's backstory should be a lot more clear now. Easier to understand, hopefully. You'll see more of it, but this is where we started to clear things up. Yeah. And... It was also probably because it, it works for in tandem for what Esmeralda's going through in the story. Yeah, it doesn't confuse you, Vin Fox, because you're new to these pages. It was very confusing. Like, as you read on, you would go, you'd start questioning yourself. Who are they referring to when they say Anthe? Yeah. That's not the, the, not the case anymore. So we're good. We make a reference of it later on, too. Okay. Next page. Four, six. Why are these arcanes so important anyway? Alright, you're new to Polaris. Well, since the central elevator is rather slow, we have time before we reach the council at the top. Allow me to explain powers to you. When we ascend, we are imbued with the flow of the cosmos and gain unique powers. The colors of our death marks represent them through our soul. For example, you're green, which means you excel in agility and speed, but struggle with strength and will. You're likely swift and evasive, something that I struggle with as a red star warrior. Oh, we show the power wheel here too. Yep. If y'all want to know more about these wheels, visit the OC creation guide on our website, where we actually have a tool that helps you make your own that explains every single aspect of this. This is literally just here for the community. Yeah. Go make your wheels. But it also serves as a really good illustration here for what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. You can do the next one. This this page saw a lot of edits. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. It's your turn. Not all powers are good for combat, even if you're red. So to help communicate everyone's unique strengths, the Arcanes assign all Star Warriors into factions. Each faction represents a pillar of our efforts. There are a few higher ranks, but they are reserved for the Council, just the Arcanes and the God acting as head of the Council. No rank, Kallax support, Numa strategy, Urgula's specialty, Gladius is fighters. Arcanes do not have unique powers, though. Well, we do, but it's hard to explain. Our powers have existed in others before us, and are tracked with numbers. I am Arcane 14, for example. What's your cosmic power, then? My power is not something I reveal to others. 
so if you have all those cool shapes with the star, can I have one with a cute little snake? I love snakes. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this whole page has been completely changed. Except for the last panel. Yeah. Uh. Scott, I can't help but think that Anthe's in some way. What do you mean? Nah. Like, not at all. If there's one character that's more like me here, it would be... Sweeper. Yeah, we just, we got rid of the notion of ranks are hierarchical. They're not. Yeah. Oh, being clear on whether or not the powers existed before or could exist in others. Yep. Yeah. That was important to clarify, too. Oh, God, there's... <clears throat> Sorry, my, my mom was washing the clothes. And, and where my office is, where I work, right next door is the washing area <laughs> for the laundromat oh, no. is, and there's so much, like... uh, Noises. It's, no, there's a lot of detergent in the air right now. Like, ugh! Oh, it smells nice. Uh, yeah. Right, you ready for next page? It's very overwhelming, though. Uh, yes. Next one is your favorite page, Gunny. Yay! Well, I'm interested in meeting these mighty arcade Star Warriors. Are they nice, or are they like you? They're like me, strong and wise warriors. That's not what I meant. This portion of the... Sorry. This portion of the tall house seems to be detached. Indeed, the beam is the only way to access it. What if I just jumped up here? Ha, I suppose. All right. I was about, to, okay. I was I was gonna bring my mouse to the screen. I was gonna scroll down myself. <laughs> I'm losing track of sanity right now. All right, stay here while I assemble for the rest. Weaver, cooperate with the interrogation. You got it, my dude. Welcome to Polaris, suspected criminal. I'm Sylvain Hart, the interrogator of Polaris. A bat? I've never seen one before. What, what are you doing? Am I my? How did this happen? I've never seen anything like it. You have an interesting death mark too. Answer me this, Fox. Did a ghost tear your arm off? No, it was a human hunter. No, don't you dare lie to me. I despise lies. Lie to me again and I will get even angrier. I'm not lying. Could you please stop smiling? It's creepy. <laughs> oh, so this... <laughs> I think Ben Fox says, so this is the bat I heard about. <laughs> Heck yeah. So yes, I am a brawler there in chat. Came up with the name Sylvain Hart and just perfectly matched this character and with uh, his permission, we used it. Yeah. It's also? because... Sil okay, to be more this, uh, descriptive as well, there was a April Fool's comic where we had... The actress that played Esmeralda be called Sylvain Hart back then. And it was a nice fitting name, but I also wanted the name to be one of the Star Warriors that was going to appear later on. Good night. Good night. Good night. And for those who were asking about like how it was hard to, to pinpoint how when I became co-writer... I, I designed Sylvain Hart with uh, with Scott. Yeah, it was a it was a joint design. Yeah, and this is the start of chapter four, and we're halfway through chapter six now. This page went up years ago, and I was already working to help design characters in the comic. So <laughs> that's why my title as co-writer was more of a formal change rather than an official promotion. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Sorry, I'm going to... Let me light up a candle. The okay. detergent smell is overbearing. Cinnamon apple smell. Oh, and the reason why Scott came to me is because I'm the bat person in the community. Yeah. And... Uh, I could provide things like I immediately said, hey, what about this species with these design elements as a result? And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is a gold maned fox. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, this character is supposed to represent like the sun, right? And then you says, yes, the golden crown bat. So, sorry, the golden yeah. crown fox. And I'm like, that's perfect. It's like a sun, literally. Yeah. 
It's because how I design arcanes, or how I like to design arcanes, is like I like to grab the idea of the arcane and see if I can make the complete uh, contrast of it. So sun, you know, sun, daytime. What's the contrast of that? Bat, nighttime creature. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. My calendar fell. God damn it. She has less fluff than Gunny. Oh, don't worry. She's going to get more. The characters get fluffier in the comic. You'll notice. Next page. One moment. Currently submitting my order for dinner. All right. I think I finally finished with the Ainsley line art I was doing. Keeps changing my address to like this random business. I should ask Chad if they like the Ainsley drawing I made. Oh, thank you. Yay. The characters that get fluffy in the Congo's on big mood. <laughs> <laughs> window capture. CSP. Ah, so big. Uh. So, chat, let me know. What do you think? It's Ainsley from Tamberlane. There. <laughs> huh. Okay. I'm yeah, ready. So good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna paint them now while we do these. Uh, this entire time I was doing the line art during chapters zero to three. I finally got the line art done. There's been a lot of back and forth. Welcome back, Anthrax. Thank you for escorting the Star Warriors. We were told that Dark Matter showed itself on what was supposed to be a simple trial, and that Esmeralda was corrupted. Explain. Well... Sorry, my phone buzz. I was distracted. Well, where do I even begin? She was consumed by Dark Matter. She came close to harming the lives of mortals, and worse, tried to sympathize with the Dark Matter. Based on all these things, can we honestly trust her? A new Star Warrior none of us have met. I want to hear solutions, Anthrax. I'm not saying we disregard her completely, I'm just... This worries me, Stella. Even though she granted the wish, the trial wish. A moment? That fox withstood the creature on her own? Despite your involvement? Correct. So, what happened? It should have been an easy fight for someone like you. Or did it take you down instead? It was around here where we decided, uh, Stella Majors, uh, bub uh, she'd have bubbles and text, I think. Yeah. But we were doing, like, the live rewrites, and I'm like, you know what, I gotta go back and put them all on the chapters 1 to 2. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, chapter 1 only. Stella only appears in chapter 1. She doesn't appear in anywhere else. Uh, besides here and further on, of course. Uh, also, another uh, fix on this is the art on the middle, on the right, panel 5. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, you weren't telling me the catalog of fix. You are saying that there was a fix. Whoops. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, that's a fix I did. because It's a change. It's a change. Yeah. Because when a Anthrax bites the human's hand, that's where he gets infected. And I just had him standing there going like, oh, like looking confused or looking surprised even. Yeah, and, and it wasn't well. clear that it was the living anthrax going, why did it not, why did the human not react? So this was a, my suggestion, why don't you just take this art and change the expression to having him look up in confusion. Exactly. And that, and that better shows that the human didn't react. So like it's like tiny edits like that really help to change how the story is told. Of course, I mean it's more clear that way. That is still somehow adorable. Yeah, I mean 
It's Anthrax. Yeah. Oh, this is actually a real good opportunity. A lot yeah. of the reviewers will, will remember that all these, what used to be called loyalty symbols, had different color backgrounds to them. We've changed terminology to emblems because emblems consist of can consist of multiple symbols. It doesn't make sense to call them loyalty symbols because it's an emblem that can depict symbols that show loyalty. That's true. So here we have the symbols of the arcanes, but not as emblems. It's just the symbols of the arcanes. So that's why they have a white background now. Because it's not their personalized emblem. Which sounds like a very minor change. But it's an easy change that better communicates what emblems are in the future. Because it would be confusing if each of these were highly personalized. Yeah, it communicates that they're all like in the same standing too. Yeah. Exactly, Russell. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no one understood that before. Yeah. All right. Next page. Ten. It was not feral, like most dark matter. It had intent. It was evolving. It fought back and it fought hard. Not only that, but according to Rubeline, there was another powerful enemy. Trial wishes are supposed to be easy, with no combat whatsoever. Mortals were in danger, and she faced corruption. I'll say it again, I am worried. Are you sure you didn't just underestimate it? These are bold claims for one so small. I'm more interested in... Cease it, you two. Back to the matters at hand. Are we to believe that Esmeralda has been corrupted? And what of this new threat? Anthrax, please take your seat at the council. Whoosh! Sylvain must have finished her interrogation already. Esmeralda may enter alongside a witness, Rubeline. Sylvain and Weaver, please enter as well. <gasps> Fun page is coming. Oh, it is coming, all right. It, it's at directly also the next one, and it's a lot of dialect <laughs> for you to read. Okay, uh, so... For new readers, this won't seem that special. For legacy readers, this whole half this page is different. You're about to flip. Next page, that is. Yeah, we can go to the next page. Y'all are about to flip here. Here we go. Oh boy, don't don't go in there yet. <laughs> it's your time to read. Yep. Do you have to work out any like court procedure or government structure? Um, Good question. I think the long story there is Scott didn't, and we did our best to communicate one in the soft in the soft rewrite. Yeah, uh, uh, Quantum Fox already saying okay. That was new, like in all caps. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get to it soon. But before the creature, a strong enemy appeared. They overpowered me, and I, I failed as a leader. You did not fail. According to the report, you saved her. For that, I am grateful. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just looking back to, to Caitlin real quick, Timberland comic and chat. Oh, it was yeah, more of, it was, It was definitely a case of just how, what people refer to, how they refer to it, um, calling it a trial or calling it a court or saying what Esmeralda has to do. There's a lot of dialogue leading up to this page that helps structure that, and there's dialogue afterwards that helps settle that structure. It was very much a case of, we need to make sure that we just can't misread it as something else. That was how we fixed it. How many how many people here have never read this far? Uh, I've seen three Show people hands! It. Press one in chat if this is your first time getting this far. <laughs> The fox was drowned in darkness, but somehow she rejected it and the mind control. Esmeralda is strong. If we are to judge her, I take. That will be all, Rubeline. Thank you for your testimony. Please present the forensic sketch Weaver made. According to Rubeline, this is what they look like. Include also Omicron's and Orexi's emblems. I'm going to take a swig of water before I scroll. What the hell is this? <laughs> The last time I read this section was to screen Scott for entrance to- Oh god, is this one my screening page? Mm-hmm. It's so different now. Uh-oh. <clears throat> we 
Weaver, thank you once again. Esmeralda may have encountered a member of these dangerous groups. Few have witnessed a follower of Omicron. Their group has no known motive, only acts of deceit, much like the mind control Rubling suspects to have occurred. Orexi, we know too well. Their group harvests Stardust to change their forms, be it through theft or obliteration. <clears throat> Perhaps they considered Esmeralda an easy target. And now, a new face to be wary of. We know not their allegiance, if they have one. Be on the lookout for my stars. What? Wait, that's impossible. He would never. Rubilin, are you certain? Uh, Anthe, everyone's silent. This is the big one. This is the the big uh, one of the one of the two retcon pages, I think. Yeah, this is a major retcon page. Yeah, uh, legacy readers remember that that they used to be called Dark Lords, that they used to have loyalty symbols, that it used to be Lord Omicron, and it used to be Hydra. Hydra's gone. Say hello to Rexy. Mm-hmm. And everybody recognizes Purple Guy. Yeah. As Anthe. And it's not... Uh, oh, who is that? Yeah. Because it makes no sense. <laughs> I want to I want to make it clear. One of the reasons Hydra was removed was because of what TZ Thin Out of Zero just said in chat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. not, not everyone knows this, but Hydra in Mar in the Marvel comics refers to a Nazi group. And Hail Hydra is literally saying to hail the Nazis. Uh we we didn't want that message to be <laughs> in our story. <laughs> Especially when the whole thing is that these people have followers behind them, so... Yeah, yeah, goodbye Hydra. Yeah. And, and that wasn't the only reason to move Hydra, there were other reasons too, but we can't share those reasons. Yeah. Also because it's a more Marvel thing and it's also gonna be, like, conflict, uh, conflicting. Yeah, it never crosses people's minds. Because... <clears throat> we weren't presenting it that way, but it could be taken that way. And the, the issue is that we do want to present Hail or Rexy. Yeah. So <laughs> the whole idea is that uh, the followers are supposed to like be beholden to these entities. Yeah. We can't say much more about them, but just know and appreciate that Scott and I spent the whole day designing these symbols. Oh, yeah. And we are so proud of them. No, incorrect. Two days. One Two for days. Omicron, one for Orexi. Not joking. I wish I was, because, oh my god, that was so long. They're really good, though. We're really proud of them. Yeah. You want to know more? Good. You're not getting more. Yeah, <laughs> take that. Points at well, screen. No, except... They are getting more later. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say who, but one of these two. Can you zoom in to Anthe? That one, yeah. Zoom in uh, in the middle. Smaller and a bit up. You know why. A bit smaller. Oh, I know what you're doing. <laughs> are you sure about that? <laughs> Yeah, this is also where we're saying this is their emblems. Yep. Much better language being used. Should be a lot clearer. Hey, we can move on to the next page then. I hope you enjoyed that massive update. It was definitely more a question of if Stella recognized him before and now was hiding it or did it. This makes more sense. That's good to know. Nice. Sounds like he didn't even try then. A name ought to be reflective. It needs to represent you. Take my name, for example. My name is Anthe. Wait, no, it's my nickname. Hello, Denny. Why? Sorry, brother, we can't risk it. Besides, Anthe's cute. Deal with it. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Calm down, everyone. We must conclude Esmeralda's trial first. 
This matter, as dire as it is, must be held in private. If there is nothing to add, the Arcane shall cast their votes. I trust Rubelein. What say you? She's either innocent or unable to join our ranks? Or guilty and sent to confinement to protect others? Good question, AK. It's up to you. You get to figure it out until it's revealed. Exactly. Yeah, we had to rewrite most of this dialogue here to get it all to work out. And we're so happy with how it came out. Okay, page 13. Mm -hmm. Do the ticker. Oh, I think I think my mom is watching TV upstairs. That's why that's what I was listening to. Okay, hey, sorry, the ticker's fixed. Hold on. Before voting proceeds, I want to say what's on my mind. It is true. Esmeralda was overcome by dark matter. I saw her turn dark. However, she was able to fight it back. I don't know how she did it, but is that not worth investigation? What would confinement teach us? To fear her? Jolly found that she granted two wishes. I'm not saying to let her go wild. Just give her a chance. Supervised, of course. Well, she did lie to me, but I can easily tell she isn't her enemy. She's quite passionate about wishes. I mean, look at that smile. This is an outrage. We have always put all influenced Star Warriors in prison. This is a big mistake for one so small. These are new powers, Ezekiel. I thought a magician would be excited. Also, that is my insult. Don't you dare take it again or I'll wipe the floor with you. You can't own an insult. <laughs> Someone's gonna try to pork, I bet it. I bet it's coming. Is it? Is it? No. Nope. No, he's poking. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Calling Anthrax small. Yeah. It, it was in the previous pages. Move forward by one. Next page. Yeah, specifically it was, um... Oh, there it is! No, not his hand. He's I'm worried. claims for one so small. <laughs> ah, yes. Gaia. Scott? Yeah. It's your I, turn. I, oh, it's my turn. <laughs> also, read the... I need to read the Star Wars Team General, too. Just in case I, I missed something. Uh, The Discord, I mean. I, too, will vote innocent. I fully trust Anthrax's word. We are friends. That's quite respectful of you, Gaia. Oh, but only if I can take a look at her body. I'm going to have so much fun with her. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so wrong out of context. Ah, figures you only want to inspect that fox. Typical Gaia. Okay, so like, if Gaia gets to agree with the rat and she gets to inspect her, it only makes sense that if I say yes, I get to train her, yes? Huh. This is the perfect chance for me, Queen Irene, to train a dark... Sorry, a maybe dark matter star warrior. The perfect opportunity. We can still hear you, Irene. With only one in opposition, we have come to a conclusion. Thank you, Arcanes. Well, Esmeralda, it seems that you have been given a chance. So I not already interrogate you, but I do want Gaia to check if your cosmic flow was harmed in any possible way. I can't take the role as your master, sadly. But since Anthrax has so much faith in you, we will appoint him as your master from now on. Anthrax, do you agree to take... Do you agree to mentor and train Esmeralda? I want you to remember this. Remember this with the brain you do have. You're not defective. Just because you can't control your power, it doesn't mean you're a monster. Got it? Yeah, thanks, Skepsy. Yeah. There's, a, there's a change here I want to talk about, but I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. 
There's apparently a restaurant in San Francisco called Arexi's HQ. Yep. We know of that one. Yep. Next. People are already Googling him. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. It's a good idea. <clears throat> ah, you get the long page. <laughs> <sighs> After the trial. It's not like you. I don't get it, Anthrax. Like, I'm happy that Cool Fox is joining our team. But if you didn't want Ezzy as your pupil, then why did he say yeah? I was meditating. You mean distracted. Shut up, Weaver. You've been zoning out a lot lately. It kind of worries me. You've noticed? I may be on my phone a lot, but I pay attention. Like how you reacted to that purple tail guy. You know him? That's none of your concern. Whatever you say, little dude. So, about Ezzy's arm cannon. I caught it on video. Want to see how she got it? The answer may surprise you. Maybe later. First, I need to introduce her to Queen Irene for training, then Ezekiel for testing her power. You know, the stuff you went through. Do we have to use your room, though? No offense, but it blows. It's so empty. Like, is that honestly your most cherished home? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Oh, Anthrax, thank the stars. Take her off my hands. She won't stop asking questions. I couldn't bear to use my power to inspect her body. It can't be that bad. Oh, yeah? Hey, Fox, any more questions? Mm -hmm. So if you are pregnant and a star warrior, is your baby a warrior too, or just dead? I can feel their wishes, you know. This page got a bunch of edits for story reasons. Yep. And that's my conclusion. <laughs> yep, that's it. Yeah, Brella's right. Like, Weaver did spend a lot of time on the internet. Uh, we can go to the next one. It's important, lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is there to be born? I have questions too. Lol. Well, we'll see. Esmeralda, now's not the time to ask questions like that. There are some things I want to talk about. I hear two sets of wishes from within you. That's why I ask. It's certainly interesting that you can, you're able to listen to wishes with minor concentration, but please don't ask. It's private. And don't ignore my friend Anthrax. He did help you, you know. I know he helped me at that council thing, whatever it was. But I still can't forgive him. I know I impaled your hand, but- No, not that! I'm talking about how you murdered that creature. Uh, yeah. Hey, I saved you. You killed that creature without thinking about it. I had the situation under control at that moment. He wasn't attacking anyone anymore, and he had a wish very deep inside of him. You can't know that! Hearing wishes isn't that instant. His wish was true. He just wished to feel alive, and I was being- giving that to him. A family, a daughter, who he loved. Stop at once, you're making a scene in front of Gaia. No, please continue. This is good research. G Gaia? I don't care what they were. There was good in their heart. But you just saw a monster. You would never understand something like that. E -e. <laughs> and retrospect, yeah. this page is certainly something. Yes, it is. <laughs> Fight, 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 fight. 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 Yay. <laughs> Not bad for a defect. Uh, okay, so next page. Um, All the dialogue here was removed. Yes. But it's more powerful storytelling now. Yeah. I could do this, page two. I'm kind of feeling it. You ungrateful brat. You're on the verge of corruption. Was I let to you embrace it? No one would willingly infect themselves with the plague. Do you have any idea how it feels to live with an infection? Wait, don't you mean dark matter? What are you talking about? Yep. So here's a very important thing. Uh, Y'all know this. Anth oh, well, I guess. You well, it's shown in the, in the beginning. Anthrax died because of the plague. But in the past, I had written it that it was like the Dark Plague, which was a very real plague in our planet. 
<laughs> yeah, Scott accidentally tied it to Earth's history. No, it's vague. And I need to update the next few pages. So give me a moment. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Published. We can go on the next one. Your turn. Exactly, I am. It's just the, the, it was a proper noun. Yeah. Was the issue. It was a proper like known named disease already. Just forget it. That should be a hyphen, not a comma. Huh? Oh. Well, we you want to write it down? Yeah. Yeah. Also find it funny that her first reaction from being smacked is arguing a sentence. <laughs> Good point. Eight edits. This is so many fewer edits than it was when the previous passes. Nice. Yeah. I got the Rexy restaurants mixed up. Rexy Greek is in San Francisco. Meanwhile, Rexy HQ is in Australia and South Wales. Oh my god. Think I can get to a Rexy. <laughs> Just forget it. <gasps> I'm losing it. I got angry at someone today. I know she wasn't doing anything to betray us. She overcame corruption. I saw it. She's just... Ugh. I did the right thing. Her accusations are naive, but... Maybe? Oh, can't be. Dark Matter has pulled so many tricks on Star Wars before. This could have been the same. Even so, her concerns are genuine. She fired me up. Dark Matter can't make wishes. Right? Hi, Bat. Boosh! Hey, Rat. Hi, Bat. Hey, Rat. Weaver said you got mad and hit Esmeralda. You okay? Aranthe's power is still... I'll be fine. How is Esmeralda doing? Just confused. I don't think she knows how she died. I'm more worried about Anthe attacking her. I refuse to believe that he attacked her. Yeah, he wouldn't. It could have been the dark matter for all we know. The ruling isn't a liar. I wonder what happened. If Skepsy were here, this would be far easier. Massive uh, dialogue uh, reductioning here, too. Yeah, this page used to have a lot more dialogue, believe it or not. <laughs> It's me and Gunny saying hello to each other. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that this uh, page used to be much more hyper concentrated with dialogue. It was a wall of text upon a wall of text. Now it's only yeah. a wall of text. There was so many. There was, like, there was no room. All the stars in this, and all the stars here, and even like down into here was just all solid text bubbles. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Next. Oh, hi, Gaia. Oh, hi, Mark. How did your research go? <laughs> the only thing I learned was my limits. I dare not enter her. There was no end to her childish questions. Unlike your friend Skepsy, my research requires interaction. He just browsed your memories. I'm sure Skepsy could have helped you out. How so? I asked him a lot of questions when I was new here. He always listened. He was amazing. Unlike a certain lizard, remember how forbidden things like emotions were? Total grump. When I lived with Denny and Anthe at Crimson Forest, it was nothing but emotions. I still can't believe Sabra got away with all that. What are we to do, Gaia? Sit a trap and wait? Well, Sabra has to pay for one day. It's my fault. I wish Skepsy were still here. I want to talk with him again, share stories, play together, just see him even. I was stupid. I, sh I should have done something. Skepsy was banging against the walls. That wasn't normal. Why didn't I see it coming? Anthrax. It wasn't your fault. Both of them together. I, yeah. can't, I can't dual voice. Anthrax. It wasn't your fault. There. Okay. <laughs> and now Anthony might be in danger too. And I'm just sitting here. 
He's not a criminal. I absolutely refuse to lose another friend. Ah, oh, what a music. <laughs> I can do the next one already. Hey. Your turn. It's... It's hard to forget what happened. Uh, well, here's an idea. We can go visit our friend Denny. She may know where Anthe is. Then he can help you with his powers again. I love to visit, actually. I miss her home. That would be cool, but I have one question. Who the... Is Denny exactly? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, hi, Weaver. How much did you hear? We thought we were alone. <laughs> Not much. Just got here. Sorry for dropping in like that. I got bored and was told you all might be up here. Come on. I wish you would include me now and then. And Wait a minute. Are you crying? Hey, uh, Master, is there anything I can do to help or something? Yeah, thank you. Sorry you had to see this. Take me to Stella. We need to visit a distant planet. You can come too. If we can find Anthe, I can go back to not feeling anything. It's best that I leave Polaris until my emotions are under control. It's not safe here when I'm like this. Weaver could learn a thing or two from Crimson Forest, maybe Denny as well. Be safe, Anthe. So changing the whole thing... Also, yes, uh, be rage. Uh, Weaver vented. To get here. Yeah, skips Clearly. will come up later. Don't skips worry. Skips will come up later. And remember how we removed the whole, like, oh, you're not supposed to have emotions because you're dead, blah, 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 blah. Now that that's gone, the emotional part that Anthrax has to face is that much more important and that much more valuable to him. It's not a, it's not a general story, beat of This is how the universe it's is. It's not his it actually... task. It's something that he wants to control himself because he feels overwhelmed by his own emotions by, by what happened. Yeah, because in the past it was like, oh, Star Wars, they aren't supposed to feel anything. Like, that was, people took that as the entire reason. Yeah. It devalued what he went through. Well, what he went through was pretty much terrible. Yep. Ready for your next page? Yes, let me just, uh, second. Forward. Cameos? You heard of the new recruit, Novara? Oh, uh, Fox, I've heard she's very dangerous. Really? I thought she was okay, though. Turns out she granted extra wishes on her trial. I mean, sure, but she was corrupted by dark matter. How can you trust her? I mean, she did conquer it, right? Yes, but she is still corrupted and defective. Uh, pff, they let anyone be a Star Warrior these days. But what if she's nice? Listen, Jolly, she won't be nice when she turns evil and destroys Polaris. She could still have dark matter in her. I'm avoiding her at all costs. They should have jailed her like they used to. I heard Savra would lock up anyone even remotely out of line. <sighs> He's not head of council anymore for a reason. But you could be right. I'll just ignore the fox then. Honestly, better safe than sorry. Wow. F***ing assholes. <laughs> Language Reaver. I don't give a... Doesn't matter. They don't even know her. She would die like twice for wishes. Tell them, Anthrax. They are Real quick to answer questions. Uh, Giga did not suggest the dialogue. Uh, that is of our own writing, but we did take her character into uh, consideration. Yeah. I take the characters of the people submitting cameos in mind. Uh, we both do. But when we're putting cameos in, it's important. But not at the sacrifice of the story, if that makes sense. Yeah, the other issue of having cameos write their own dialogue is you have to expose the story to them, and yeah, as much as we want to trust everybody, they can only suggest up to a point when they don't know the whole story. Yeah, uh, one of her, uh, one of uh, Giga's inflection of honestly is at was yeah, that, here. That's, that's like her own personal inflection. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, where was that issue? Where's your? It should be. Of the council anymore. He oh, I think what, he, what G JJ is saying is like it should be. Yeah. Psh, he's not head of the council anymore, but head of council is part of the title. So we've been saying head of council for a while. A 
another English thing to settle upon. I will take note of this to research later because head of the council is a technical correctness, but I'm trying to remember if like omitting the is fine or not. So let me just write this down so I can yeah. check. Page 21, P3. Uh, B4. Oh, yeah. I've, uh, I can't say. I was about to do another bad. <laughs> My sinful ways will stop one day. Exactly, Quantum. Yeah, the guy is My crazy. Animal Crossing yeah. noises. Right. There you can continue the page. They are being disrespectful to your new pupil. Even if she was a monster, they should know not to mess with your pupil in your presence. You should at least reprimand them. I can't. Their concerns are why she is my pupil in the first place. They are technically right. Are you f***ing kidding me? Anthrax, I know you're mad at her, but you stood up for her before. Tell those idiots I can't stand up for her at every turn. Especially if she keeps saying we should have saved that creature. Whatever, coward. What? Please don't. I'm taking a pic so I don't forget who they are. I'll yell at them later. Weaver, Star Warriors can't be photographed. Ah, duh. This pic will remind me to be f***ing livid. Okay, you ready? Uh, for next one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would absolutely not recommend to have this as an audio book because we're talking about a lot of things. <laughs> we're, ta we're talking. Oh no, he's just saying like you're just listening in as if it's a podcast. Oh, audiobook. okay. I, I misread. Yeah, he's not just he's not just saying we make one. My bad. Okay. Your turn. Hey, Sparky. Can I bother you a bit? Stella said she was busy today, but I want to leave a message. I'm just going out on patrol. What message, sir? Tell her that I will be away for a few days. As soon as she comes out of her room, I will, sir. I'll be taking my fellow arcanes 6 and 19 with me. I'll good. also be taking my Karoot... My, 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 you said good, I said Karoot. <laughs> 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 I'll be taking my recruit Weaver, too. Give Stella my best wishes. So, you have returned. What? Dun, oh. dun, dun, dun. Who could it be? Forward. <laughs> you have to pronounce it. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Hold on, I'm eating, uh, I'm eating cereal. <laughs> Give me one second. <laughs> uh, sorry, I just got a message. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah. I remember you know, I was like, what? What? How do you even pronounce that? How do you even pronounce that? Oh, it's uh, destination, Sector Delta Cap. Arriving in about six hours. Yep. The Rickes Delta. Mm -hmm. Master Anthrax, I heard you were feeling pretty down. Might I help you relax with some meditation? Thanks, I really need it. Rumble. Rumble. Now, it's important to understand the roots of what brings you us down. Tell me, Master, what is it that makes you so? Tell me of your plights. I would relax, but rumble. Guy, I swear for all the stars, fly carefully, the whole ship is shaking! If you wrecked any ship, I'm dodging meteorites. Let me have my fun. Master, please relax. Disregard Gaia's garbage flying skills for now. I heard that. <laughs> Don't fall for distractions. <sighs> yes, dear. <laughs> I need to relax. I must ignore the ship that carries us. Disregard the obstacles. And think of the paths I took in the past. I need to go back to where it began. The reason I am like this. Master Savra? 
I know that face. Hey, it's Cotton. Yeah, it's Cotton. Yeah. So I, I was just remembering the meme that Super sent me that one night. <laughs> Obviously, cannot show it, unfortunately. Gaia, how can you see with your eyes closed? <laughs> Did that just not dawn on you? I know, I know what people are going to say. It's just that I, I'm thinking about who they are. I'm not thinking about the, 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 how they visually are, you know what I mean? Sylvain Scott. is not someone who would just like pilot a ship. Anthrax would, but Anthrax is busy meditating. Cotton is just doing uh, psychi psychi uh, psychiatric, care. psychiatric care. And Weaver just wants to play on her phone. Gaia's the only one who can pilot this ship right now. I wasn't thinking that her eyes were closed. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> this is what a lot of her meetings were like. But it's really funny now. because She can see. She can see. It's just that... Ugh... <laughs> It's really funny, I accidentally made a joke. And it, I mean, it explains why Gaia has garbage flying skills. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Next page. <laughs> hey, you get to read. Well, I get to die for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> My Ascender. Why haven't you given me a name yet, Master? You turned me into a Star Warrior days ago. Even the new recruits today have names by now. Trust me, days mean very little as time goes on. Especially when no progress is made. As for your name, how about we just call you Wile? Wile, thank you so much. Does it mean anything? <laughs> it means you have a name. <laughs> Anyways, on to why I brought you here. I don't have the time to teach you what you need, so you are getting a new master. What? But, but I thought the Ascenders are meant to guide the new warriors. I'm head of council. And captain. I'm far too busy. Close your mouth. Sorry, but why? It's better that way. Skepsy, be his master. You may do whatever you wish. Sure thing, mister. Most gods preferred to guide those they ascend. Savra was different. He never guided me. I don't think he ever cared to. What the- Hey! You're the rat that I fought. In hindsight, I'm glad he didn't even try. Remember me? Wait, wait. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> you kept two views for the follow. Thank you for the follow. That was really well timed, damn. But yes. Hello. Hello. We're reading comic. Uh. So that's actually a very good point. We actually did delve into that. You you don't say the captain, unless you're referring to the actual role itself. But when you're using the title, it's just captain. Yeah. Like, I'm captain of the of the soccer team. That is you declaring yourself. Or you say, ask the captain of the soccer team. It's one of those weird things in English. You omit the between the change of title and uh, descriptor. Do you want to mark this for the head of council thing just in case you find something? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Because I, I think this is a sorry. case where omitting the actually makes sense because it's referring to themselves. Yeah. But the other one may not have been because it was referring to the title, which, in which case the should have been used. Now that I think about it. Yeah, exactly. So here it might be fine. It's Cap Tobias. Okay. Or is it to Tobias? Okay, right, next page. But you wouldn't if I am head of the council. It is still I am the head of the council, not head of council. 
We will research it. Yeah. But I remember finding otherwise when I did research this, but we will double check. Yeah. You can put the next Speaking. page now. It's like, don't worry, we are going to check. I am taking note. Maybe a exactly. British thing. It, it, it might be a British thing. That That is a thing. Is That's one of the hard things about figuring out, like, if we're using the language correctly for titles or the use of punctuation or articles. English is different in different localities. And sometimes pulling it apart is really annoying. But yeah, don't worry. We'll look into it later. For now, we're going to enjoy pages. Yep, that's one. You followed me up here or something? N no, I didn't. I just died and... Sorry, Master. Well, well, what are the chances? You're my pupil now and I get to order you around. Life sure is strange or unlife in this case. Wait. Nothing to say? <laughs> Cat got your tongue? Aw, oh, you're scared. Don't worry. Don't worry now. I'll keep you safe. Safe? A cat? Savra, why did you do this to me? <clears throat> so this is how it is then. My role as a Star Wars is already over. Hey. Well, I did kill him after all. So it's only fair he does something to me now. Hey! It's not like I was going to be a good Star Wars any- Hey, rat! You haven't said anything for a while. It's been like a few minutes. What's wrong with you? I killed you back then. Go ahead, eat me. I deserve it. <laughs> I, I don't know how to do snicker noises, I'm sorry. But he's snickering. <laughs> You're weird, you know that? I don't want to do that. What? Wait, so you're not going to- Nah, we're dead after all. Huh? Geez, fine, I'll eat you if you want me to so badly. It won't do anything, we have no organs, you know. Please don't! Geez, make up your mind. You're a very weird rat. I think I like you. It's Skepsy. It's the- it, it's him. For those that don't know who Skipsy is, it's the emote you've seen. <laughs> Maybe they know Skipsy is the Wait. emote. Potentially. That's a that's a plausibility. Uh we can do the next one. The boy is here. Alright, hop on, Ratty. So what name did you get? I'm Skepsy. Um Wild. Wild, huh? Ha, Savra gave it to you, I'm sure. He sure didn't take a while to think about it. <laughs> I wasn't his favorite soda. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't kidding before, though. I'm going to keep you safe. Since you're a rookie, you need to learn some basics. I was a cat, but I learned a lot about life after death. My angel friend can help you train for fighting, too. Why are you helping me? You're a fellow Star Warrior. I'm just a rat. You're meant to hunt us. You're dead. That doesn't matter anymore. I just want to enjoy my time with others now. In any case, I want to take you to my favorite place in all of Polaris. Hold on, don't we have to grant wishes like Sara said? Yes, but you can become a better rat. Blah. Yes, I wish you can become a better rat. See? I'm granting my own wish. There's a Cameos. lot of cameras here. Uh, I have a list, but I'm not going to pull them up right now. I'm sorry. You'll have to see on the website. They're all listed there. But you may have noticed that there's there's an emblem that ha appeared. Hmm. Yep. We're ready for the next page, by the way. <laughs> You're the promotion. <laughs> Here we are, the library. Knowledge from mortals and gods alive, uh, alike all here. Sorry, just gonna... Before, before you continue, Skepsy was always an arcane. It was just another one of Scott's cards that he was hiding that didn't lead to anything. So we're just pre presenting it now because it helps. Yeah. In the past, it was like, oh, the arcane emblems and the faction emblems were not a thing. Because it was in the past, but in that cameo page that you saw there, everyone had an emblem with their faction. Yep. So it didn't even make sense to do that. Yep. So also, the emblems are now applied retroactively. 
and as Anthrax said, the uh, the powers have been like tracked with numbers throughout long periods of time. Why wouldn't they be doing that from the very beginning? You know, from the very start, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay, and now it does make sense. Now it does make sense. Here we are, the library, knowledge from mortals and gods alike, all here. It's so big. There's information from worlds you can't even imagine. All the books are protected, you see. So Aqua can help you access what you need. What's a book? Oh, no worries. You'll learn with just a bit of reading. Books are the most lovely thing in the world. Why so? It's purring noises. Uh, books have knowledge. <laughs> from early- from every realm imaginable. People have sought out to learn the world around them slowly rising to enlightenment. Morals have pushed their kin and with wisdom and grow to grow smarter and wiser. Knowledge is power and understanding is seeing. All to achieve one goal in their short lives. Searching their place in the universe. A purpose. Now, what would you like to learn? We were given the power to understand any language in the universe. So there's no book you can't understand. Hmm. What could I learn? Everything! You could learn about uh, just a lot of things. Cats, flowers, constellation, stars, star wars, rats, food, world, flying, religion, flowers. Wow. Something, planets, cultures, gods. Life. Everything is a lot. How can I even choose? Shouldn't that be searching for their place in the universe? Searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. A word, a word was eaten. Oh, Animal you're right. Three. Yeah. Fair so enough. P three B that was P three B one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven, yeah, it helps us with it. You will not get the badge. The QA badge, I'm afraid. Oh no, Russet wants the I am in this uh I am a writer in Star Warriors badge, if I recall correctly. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the work. We pat the rat, uh, irregardless. Yeah, no, thank you, Russet, a lot. We can move on to the next page. Ooh, ooh. No, button. I don't want Gunny's job! <laughs> <laughs> job security. Yeah they, yeah, they don't want to deal with me. That's you the, the truth. number on screen, by the way. I do. Uh, yeah, it should be one less. Do okay, thank you. It's your turn to read. Wow, they know so much about us rats. We do take care of other sick rats as best as possible. See, there's nothing we can't learn. Isn't it great? I never knew how little my life was compared to all this. I'm not sure if I can learn as much as you can, Skepsi. Don't be silly. We all need education. Well, Sovra just told me to wait until my power and color appears. Do you think a small rat like me deserves to learn about all this stuff? Just because he told you to wait for that doesn't mean you shouldn't get to learn. I'd rather die twice than live in ignorance. I'm sure there is something you would like to learn. Hmm, I've wanted a mate to spend my life with. Maybe if it would be alright to have one. That, no, that's not, that's not, I wonder if it would be alright to have one. Well... I always wanted to be in... You want to fall in love. Learn what your color is, what power you have, and about the disease you had. Huh? How did you know what I was thinking? That's my power. I can read minds. Really? Can you teach me how to do that? That's not how that works, Wow. I'm sure your power will come soon. Maybe turn the dot after lives into a colon on the previous page. No, because it's dialogue. Yeah. If this was an essay and all of this was in one piece together, you'd be right. Yeah, that's another thing about the writings, uh, the edits that we've been doing too. Is that sometimes we, we have to make sure that we're not confusing writing an essay to writing people talking. Yeah. 
Because there is a big difference. Next page. It is my turn to do the read. Yes. Hold on. I'm just preloading the next uh, pages to submit as well. Okay. Alcadon. Before I found my color, I had so much fun at Polaris. Learning how to get strong. Okay. I had so much fun at Polaris learning how to get strong and smart. Oh. Did you do all that on your own, Master Anthrax? No way. I had other people guide me. There was no way I could do it alone. That warrior knowledge tablet has information on cosmic weapons. Enjoy. Thanks, Aqua. Maybe one day I will get to wield a Stylurgia. Mm, perhaps. You may need to scroll down, Gunny. Yeah, it's... sorry. I was just checking something. My bad. Yeah, it's not the bottom of the page. Yeah, I knew it. Uh, a bit higher, please. There you go. Aqua, help me get books. In cosmic combat, size hardly matters. Remember, no matter how small you are, you can always make a big difference. Don't ever listen to what Sabra says. His words did not help you. Alfred's taught fighting and independence. The best part was Skepsi. Time flies when you have a great friend supporting you. Conversations are endless. Smiles last forever. At times we would like pr to pretend as if we were never dead at all. I win today, while. Okay, fine, I lose. Now let me out. Out? Oh, not today, little rat. I'll always cherish the time we had together. I appreciate Sabra for ascending me despite everything. Skepsi made me feel truly alive. Even if we were cat and rat, I would give my life ten times for that. That rhymed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was my intention. We are all equal in death. Skepsi and I, we're brothers. The rodent looks, con rodent looks content. Yes, yes indeed. Next page. Uh, 30, yes. While, do you, hmm? Your turn, yeah, sorry. While, do you know why I like hiding up here? Because Sarva works you to death? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love this place because of all the stars I can see from here. Just imagine all the worlds that must be out there. Stars really are beautiful. A lot of really shiny wishes, huh? Yeah, I wonder who they belong to. Absolutely, they could be coming from entirely different worlds. So much to see in life, well, afterlife. But I want to see other worlds one day. Same here. I really want to go out there and see what the universe holds. But aren't you... Your job is important. Sovereign is scary. Shush, don't think of lizard butt. <laughs> I love that sentence. He is just afraid or something like that. I've not once found anyone out of the ordinary. Don't worry, okay? Who let him be the captain of Polaris anyway? How is something like that even decided? He's always on guard, too paranoid in my opinion. Well, I've pried into the minds of many Star Warriors here. You're not alone thinking that. Nobody likes his weird ban on emotions and talking with your mouth. Reading his mind is a bad idea. Otherwise, I would. My power has a drawback. Most times, people can tell when I read their minds and know exactly what I read. Especially a deep secret. It's very risky. If Sovereign knew I read his mind, it's not worth it while. I don't want to be in Sovereign's mind anyway. He's scary enough. The way he treats new arrivals would set anyone straight. I have to read all their minds for him. I always lived in a hole, inside a human home, never seeing the world out there. Honestly, Skepsy, it feels that way all over again. Whoa now, don't say feelings around Savra, you won't hear the end of it. Why? What's wrong with feeling stuff? I don't know. He won't tell anyone. Skepsy has a job! <laughs> Yeah, this page was completely rewritten. Yeah. That's why I said Skepsi has a job. Just imagine a little tag. Hi, my name is Skepsi. I'm here to read your mind. <laughs> All good. 
<laughs> Poor Skepsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, next page? Yes, next page. Page 31. It's as if he hates any semblance of life. Eating has no benefit, but some of us gather and pretend nonetheless. It brings people together. We obey in his presence, but it's hard at times. Second nature and all that. All our talking is sort of spiritual or something. I hate talking this way. When I talk, I can't help but to move my mouth and no matter how much I try not to. I just feel something in me. Something cried out that I am alive. Especially being with you now. It really makes me happy. I really feel like smiling for once. I don't know. Maybe he's right about some things. We don't need to eat and my emotions get the better of me. We aren't alive. Just forever dead. You're stuck with me forever. Snicker, snicker. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> think about it, though. We have not the heart to feel or brain to think. Maybe it's wrong to want to feel. Don't think like that. Sure, we lack organs like a heart and brain, but then how is it I can read their minds? I think it's the same when it comes to our heartfelt feelings. Important people can be wrong too, like Savra, one of Polaris's founders. What does a god know of being alive anyways? Our lives may be over, but our souls continue on. We endure much in our lives. Like you, while You bit that human hoping to save everyone. It led to your demise, but you were happy to have acted. A god could never understand our soul's desire to live, to feel. You're the most incredible person I've ever known. Hey, wait a minute! I never told you that! You were in my mind again, didn't you? Snicker, snicker. I'm sorry, Lyle. I didn't mean to pry, but, well, curiosity does get me a lot. It's interesting seeing that being a job someone can have reminds me of how Steven Universe has sapphires as future seers in a diamond's court for foreseeing danger. Yeah! The, 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 this tower scene was pretty much massively, um, well, not massively. The ideas were organized better and a lot of rewrites uh, went on here to remove the we don't feel thing, you know? Yeah. But there's still something there that is a it more interesting really story. Well now. Yep. Yeah. Next page. I think this is the page where I made the story sadder. Yeah. It's uh at the bottom. Yeah. Wait, Russet, you should stay at least for the end of this page. Otherwise, good night. From what I saw, you traveled alone for many days, finding a way to kill yourself without killing others. You carried such a deadly burden inside. It was very sad to see in your mind. You felt as if you had already died when you got infected. You were very close to having burning marks instead. It was your intent after all. I don't get it. Are my glowy freckles wrong? When we ascend, our cosmic bodies form marks. They represent the cause of our death, but it's more than that. They expose our story. My death was near instant, but I still bled out some, I think. The nail you drove into my head? Left this mark. Most won't know the details, but it's enough to suggest what happened. I, I'm sorry. It's all right, while. Death marks vary from person to person. Cuts, disease, impacts, age, fire, and many others. They all imprint differently on our cosmic bodies. Some wear their death as part of their identity, or even as a mark of beauty. Don't they remind you of your pain in life? I don't care, because when we are together, our death marks tell a much more important story than that. Like what? Like how we became brothers, of course. Let's live our best afterlives together. Sadness! <laughs> that That's why Gunny wanted you to say to feel even sadder. You're welcome. Yes, Russell? <laughs> <laughs> I did I'm that not one. A monster. <laughs>
this page used to just focus on talking about death marks yeah. and giving wrong information about them. <laughs> <laughs> but we had to come up with something different. I was like, you know, we should show their bond better. <laughs> it's time to stop. You know, just let people see how happy they were together. Yeah. And what they wanted to do. <laughs> and this wasn't just like, oh, I need to make readers sad. <laughs> Where's I want to stay? Yeah, okay. Have a good night, Russet. Bye, Russet. We wanted to, instead of talking about, oh, how death marks are formed, etc. We also really wanted to touch on the fact that it also helps tell their story. And what is the current story we're trying to tell readers? About these two and their relationship. So it's genuinely a really good way to talk about how death marks can represent story. Mm -hmm. It just so happened to be a good opportunity to make people cry. Yeah. If people would cry more, that's better. In my opinion. <laughs> if you're reading this for the first time, you're not crying yet. But if you ever read this a second time, you'd be crying. Absolutely. Okay, next page? Yeah, one more. Next page. Alright, take care, Russet. Bye, Hope Russet. I was just finishing the color blocking on Ainsley here. Ah, come on. Brain, activate the potential. <laughs> <laughs> Months later. Clash swish. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. I think my sword skills are getting better than ever, Alpharet. Do you think I'd be able to use bigger swords one day? Like a Sailurgy? Perhaps. Who knows? Your opponents won't use a sword this small, though. One day you'll face foes way bigger than... Yeah, I know. Don't worry. Bye, Elf. Hey, what I'm telling you is important. So carefree. Yet worth keeping an eye on. Hey, Skepsy. I've been getting way better at fighting. Still using toothpicks? No way. I'm moving on to better things. To be bigger, bigger things. Oh, that reminds me. I thought of a very clever way to sneak you into one of my tasks with Savra. You want to come with? Seriously? But are you sure? Savra would never let me. Oh, don't worry, while you are coming with me. Uh, Skepsy, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, that's page that page. Ticker. That's that page? Hmm? No, someone's saying that's that page. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> okay. Uh, page ticker? One second. Good up. Okay. Sorry, I, I yeah. took the page. That's Sakito. Yeah, that is Sakito. That's me. Yep. That's Zach's character. That's Zach's character. Yeah. Never and learned what that is. That is a friend, uh, an old friend's character. I don't God. think they're credited in the credit list. I think it's Providence, but I don't remember well. Okay. On the lower levels of Polaris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Savra. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> On the lower levels of Polaris. Sometimes star warriors are sinned with problems and arrive defective. Others are drawn to dark matter for whatever reason. Unlike you, Skepsy. Yes, sir. But why are we here? Your power. Same as with new arrivals. Read their minds. Understood. Count on me, Savra. You are also speaking proper lately. Trust me, I wouldn't dare open my mouth now. Good. These are the prisoners I seek to reform. I want to know what's wrong with them. Do they have names? I have yet to ask. This is more important. I see. Aqua. Report. Yes, sir. The bat and wolf seem promising. Their colors showed quickly. However, the bat was dancing to celebrate her death. In doing so, she used her powers on others, so we restrained her. The wolf claims they are still pregnant with their child. 
very odd and suspicious behavior. So the very important fix here was a... I guess I can say it at this point, right? It was, I don't know what you were going to say. Uh, The level of cruelty, I guess. Oh, yeah, we reduced how much of a... Safra was. Yeah. <laughs> as a god, uh, especially because as a god, it makes no sense. She danced the cyber dude. Yes, it makes sense later yes. on. Do not worry. But here we had a lot of also emotions, bad, dead, you know, dialogue and storytelling, yeah. which made no sense. Now there's other story. Okay, one of the benefits of removing content, such as the whole emotions being bad thing, it leaves room to tell the other parts of the story that were omitted. It's like we're able to fit in more story, even though we're removing some aspects. <laughs> what? I get, sorry, I, uh, I, I, Neon made a doodle for me. And I need um, to share this now. Oh no. It's so good, Yanni, it's so good. Neon, what did you doodle? Uh, where's my... Oh, did I remove the fan art thing? Uh, browser. Let me check. Fan art. There it is. Uh, so let me show you all what Neon drew for me. It's in Fox of Comics right now, but I'm gonna share it on stream. She's so full of flints for character trauma. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. There's way more that I haven't been able to get to. But yeah, this Isn't is great. Wonderful? Thank you so much, yeah. Neon. If I put it there. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Neon. Oh, I love it so much. I love I love the expression too. Gosh. <gasps> Don't let your kids watch <laughs> Uh, I need to put the fan art like underneath so that it actually gets affected by that. Let me... Sorry, a, a brief uh, tangent, I suppose. I should put it here. So it's displayed. I'm gonna play it again because of what they intended to do. They tend to do this. There! <laughs> I forgot to hide it. <laughs> Dork. Alright. Next page. Should be 35. Mind reader, yeah. It's my turn to read. Shuman, Gunny. Yeah, I, was, I had the wrong window focus by accident. Hey, I didn't mean to. I was so happy that... Yeah, you continue to smile. Explain yourself. Why are you happy? I'm so dead. Happy. So happy. I'm dead. I'm free. And I can dance. I don't mean harm. Honest. What about you, Wolf? Why do you appear to be pregnant after a death? We don't reproduce. Maybe it's because I was in labor? How should I know? I wish I could find an explanation for this. To this. Skepsy, read their minds. We need to know if they are hiding an aspect of themselves or if they are legitimately they legitimately need our help. We have reason to take more drastic measures based on your assessment. We can't risk Polaris. Expose them to me completely. Is this understood? Uh, yes, Savra, whatever you say. You can't just ask someone that, Mia sis. Well, <laughs> I mean, they are dead. <laughs> I knew I would die, but I yearned for freedom, and I got it. How could I not feel happy? Happy that I got a second chance to express my freedom. Uh, I wish to dance throughout the cosmos for eternity. I don't know if my son was born or not. Why did I have to die in the middle of it? Is my son dead, alive, or did I somehow bring him up here? I can't help but feel doubt in my heart and worry deeply for my son. I wish I knew what happened to my beloved son. So, Skepsy, why are they so defective? Such strong feelings. What do I do? This is a very all... Uh, there's so many reasons why these fixes are so happening. So many changes in, on this page. Many yeah. reasons we can't say, too. You'll have to learn by reading your comic. Exactly. As time comes on. By the way, I really love the reflection on Skepsi's eye. It's my favorite thing. Oh, they're both there. Yeah. Exactly.
onto next page. Fixing. Oh, nice. Your turn. <clears throat> Wait, I could hear those thoughts while in here. I just thought Sovra was some emotionless guy, but this is just straight up cruel. Feelings aren't defective at all. They're normal. Skipsy and I feel them all the time. Don't tell Savra. Well, Savra, the wolf ascended like this. She's just getting used to it is all. And the bat died with that smile. So perhaps she too ascended that way? Neither are hiding anything. Thank you, Skipsy. Well, sir, what's the plan now? We can't have their potential wasted by them having these defects, but we can fix them. We have a lot of Stardust remaining. Excellent. Wow, Skipsy, that was awesome. You totally protected them, but shh, quiet in there a while. Do you want to get caught? Let us start fixing the wolf by removing the excess <laughs> mass from her body. Wait, what? I, I don't mind having this thing here at all, honest. Such a needless growth would only hinder you. Besides, I could use the extra stardust. This can't be happening. As for you, Bat, that smile is dangerous. I'll help you remove it. He's, he's going to break them apart? It's sad. They are going to be ruined eternally. To think I wouldn't suffer to be my master before. He's a monster. This may seem super cruel, but I, I, well, hold on. Shh. I, I remember like saying, Gunny, maybe, maybe this is the Gunny was like, no, keep it. No, no, <laughs> keep it. I, I'm like, oh. Uh, the, the reason why I was like, oh, uh, because I'm on Twitch and it's so weird, you know. <laughs> it's fine. I yeah, know, it's fine. It's just that it's. <laughs> People literally stream Outlast. It's fine. What's Outlast? A very gory horror game. Oh. Where, uh,. You get your thing chopped off. We're fine. <laughs> you what? <laughs> what you mean? Ah, I got too late for the poke. I dodged it. I dodged your boop. I'm very sorry. Great Scott. <laughs> uh, I finally finished color blocking Ainsley, but I have to nice. paint the eyes still. God, it's been so slow. For obvious reasons, but you know. Alright, next page. 37. One moment. And apply. Let her keep the valley. But what about the extra stardust? Alright. Here we go, Scott. It's like you gain more EXP. <laughs> While, what are you doing? This really hurts. Stop it. I can't. I don't know why. Wait, while? Skepsy, explain. Sir, I believe he ate his pupil. I thought you were better than this. <laughs> By the stars, is that darkness? Skepsy, what is this? Wait, sir, I can explain. <clears throat> I, I wanted to show him. I told you that your work is to never be spoken of. Yet you bring your pupil in secret, bathe in darkness? Is this new? Tell me. Sir, we need to make haste. Darkness is pulling from him. As we speak, he is at risk. We all are. Contain him before any more of this darkness spreads. Treat Skepsy at once. At the council. Why I have music on? I consider him a risk to all. He is either innocent and able to join, rejoin our ranks, or guilty and sent to confinement to protect others. As witness, there's nothing to debate. I know what you are. You're defective. Anything to add? No, Master Savra. Good. Throw the pest in prison. He will stay there until his darkness is of no threat. That explains the Halloween dragon drawing? Yay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember which one was the Halloween drawing. Oh, it's... Oh, I, I can share it later, I guess. Okay. It's very old. 
But yeah. Blech. Blech. Russet says, thank you for an amazing, good, fun stream. Yeah. It was great. I got that DM too. Oh. But I wanted to share it with stream too. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Next page. Yellow. There's a lot of yellow in this page. Skepsy, are you alright? I heard the darkness was... I'm fine. Don't worry about it. It hurt a lot, but Sarva said I should be okay. Sarva. Well, I'm at least glad he didn't throw you in jail, too. Part of me wishes I was in jail with you, too. I can't believe what Sarva was about to do to these people. I know, but he is a god. Technically, we did do something bad. Maybe I deserve being here. I'm not strong enough to be a warrior. You stop that. Despite your size, you've come a long way. So don't put yourself down. Skepsy, please stop. I've been a failure ever since I got here. I am just a rat, and you are a cat. I can never be as strong as you are. Sarver is right. I am defective. He is not right. That will never compare to you. The way you died shows to me you are millions of times stronger than he is. I can see it in you. All you went through. You are strong, Lyle. Thanks, but I'm nothing like Captain Savra. He's the strong one. Hey now, he may be one of the founding gods of Polaris, but you are very brave. Oh, come on, I'm not as brave as you think. <laughs> I believe so. You may have darkness powers, but it doesn't mean you're dark matter. You're not bad. I know you have a heart. Skepsy, we don't have a heart. Yes, while Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Brother. <laughs> Skepsy. <laughs> I can never resist it. Remember what I said? We have a brain to think. We must have a heart. There is no other explanation. Are you sure, Skepsy? I want you to remember this. Remember this with that brain you do have. You are not defective. Just because you can't control your power, it doesn't mean you are a monster. Y yeah. Thanks, Skepsy. Well, the, the mixer will never be in the comic. Yeah, the yeah. Joke. <laughs> That's the, what the mixer cannot exist in comic canon. Yeah. For those who don't know, I have a OC. That's really just a cake mixer. <laughs> what the hell is this? Because <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. Okay, ready for next page? Mm-hmm. Hours later. I wonder if Skepsy's doing alright. Stay safe, brother. Brother. Hey, rat! How are you doing? Ah, by the stars! Oh, sorry. You just looked so sad that I wanted to keep you company. Is that okay? Uh, sure. I'm just waiting for my friend. I really miss him. The mind-reading cat, right? He divulged very little in an attempt to help, I think. A friend of his is a friend of mine. Is a friend to me. Ah, uh, friend to me, sorry. I am Meredith Lordre. Ha, huh, I never imagined being friends with a being so tiny. Is that your warrior name? It's so nice compared to mine. I'm... Wile. Don't be ashamed, your name is good, Wile. I wasn't even given a new name. Huh? Hey, I'm still here. I never got one either. I'm Sylvain Hart. Mine... Wonderful character in all that. You have someone never to show up. It's improper to barge into a conversation without our explicit cons- Aqua, it's you! Sorry, uh... You want to know more about Stylurgia, yeah? I found more tablets about... Uh... You'll have to read the rest. Aqua, you're doing it again. Sorry, my bad. Let me know if you want more. Savra may be strict, but even he values education. Aqua, thank you so much. I'll read it up to a certain point. Yeah. You know, wow, I already, thank you, Dyslexia. You want to know more about Stylorgia, yeah? I found more tablets about them. Their observed powers, previous owners, how many are left, lots of details. I especially like learning more about their creator. He left us with so many powerful relics. Let him eat the tablets. <laughs> Actually, that's a good... What if you eat a Star Warrior, like, tablet? What if you eat a book? 
No, no, but why do you eat these specific boots that... Okay, these books activate with contact, right? No, my my argument is that unless you eat it whole, it won't mean a thing. <laughs> also, you like if you just snap it, it's just the, the information stored is destroyed or altered. Yeah. Fair. However, if you swallow it whole, <laughs> you will have an ebook, an audiobook playing for the rest of your life, afterlife. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> There's only one image that comes into my mind the moment that you like, oh, you have to eat the book whole, right? For anthrax specifically. What? Image. <laughs> <laughs> Anthrax when he wants to learn about the Stylurgia and not give the book back. <laughs> you still have the red on screen, by the way. Oh, I know, but, but that doesn't show on stream, thankfully. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that's only for, like, uh, internal OBS stuff. Got it, got it. Alright, uh, next page. It's your, oh, your turn, because you read the yep. tiny aqua. Later. Later, dude. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> These blades, forged by Cepheus, are of his greatest works. Though unable to cut, their ability to copy others' powers... Wait a minute. I could use others' powers? No way, that's incredible. I can't wait to wield it one day. What makes you think you can wield it? Sounds like it's very important. Well, I mean, anyone could wield it, right? Sure, but are you on good terms with any of the owners? Owners? Who? Oh, I don't know. I'd sure love to meet them, though. I also want to hold a Stadorgia. Seriously? Yeah, I was trying to look for one, and then I stumbled in here. So Savra caught you. Hey, what would you do if you found a Stylorgia? Me and my friend Skepsi are going to travel all across the cosmos. Oh yeah? I'll get a Stylorgia, become the hero of the cosmos, rid this world of corruption. I'll even be a greater captain than Savra. I could grant all sorts of wishes using a Stylorgia. No one will have to feel hopeless ever again. <laughs> I like you. You want to save the universe too, huh? It'll be fun to tag along. We could get one for each of us. Yeah. My name is Wild, by the way. Uh, I'm Skipper. I actually do know a few things about those swords. I've been wanting to find one for ages. I'm a fan too. <laughs> so, what kind of creature are you? I'm a rat. Well, I'm a bunny. I've <laughs> read about bunnies. They are really cute. Uh, I'm not that cute, really. You don't even know how I look. I'm sure you are cute. Wanna be friends? W with me? Are you sure? I'd love to have a friend. Welcome back, Momo, from your nap. Welcome back, Momo. Yeah. Uh, I, I color blocked Ainsley. What was the oh my god, wow, there it is about? Oh, yeah. Just curious, because I was, I was looking at the comic not chat uh i was also color blocky so i didn't look at chat either squad what was you whoa quantifox says the bunny is evil <laughs> i started to laugh because just the other day i was watching a video on how to butcher a, a rabbit's body why <laughs> so, so <laughs> just because it's curious um and so I just started to laugh because like, well, I'm a bunny. And like, <laughs> Here's Ainsley, by the way. Color blocking. Why did you play that now when I showed Ainsley? <laughs> color blocking is the act of applying the flat colors to an image, basically blocking out the colors. Aha. <laughs> yeah, color block is when you all the flat color information that you put on the character is applied. And then on top of that, you put the shading. Shading, lighting, yeah. and effects like that. Or what The reason last. is why it's called blocking is because you're blocking the color inside of the line art. 
It's also referred to as color blocking as it refers to when uh, how colors are typically printed through uh, block presses. That's true as well. All right, next page. What's this page? You get the fun page. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, it's this page. <laughs> Hold on. What the hell is this? <laughs> Oh, and you're painting and lay down the basic colors you want before all the details. Like, yeah, true. Yep. Yep. We, we would talk about the swords for days, sharing what we knew of them. I don't like being in jail, but I had a new friend, and others would visit from time to time. Until one day, I heard banging. Skepsy was raving aloud to everyone. <laughs> no one! Trust no one! Aqua's gone. Dark. Sovereign's hiding here. <laughs> Skepsy! And then, of course. Oh my god, oh my god, run, run, run! No! Wait, someone, help me! Aqua? What, what's going on? Are you okay? Help! I I'm coming! Skipper, where are you going? Don't leave me too! Gunny has completed the rite of passage. Oh, that's what they're celebrating. Yeah. Okay, Bat, your wings are freed. I believe you should be able to fly off with your friends. Alfred, what about you? I'll hold Savra back. Just get out of here. Hold them tight, Meredith. They're gone, and it's all my fault. While it hurts, please try to stay calm. I beg of you. Skepsy, brother. There is a lot of differences here. Yeah. Thank you, Dagar. And that's exactly what we're trying to touch on. The whole darkness is a bad idea. I love and hate it. I'm one of those that wants to fight against the hate of darkness, and I love that y'all touch about light versus dark mentality is coming. Yeah, from the beginning, I didn't like the idea of dark being completely an evil thing. Especially because we're doing a, a star space comic where most, most things are in darkness anyway. Like, it's space. You don't... Right? A lot changed on this page. Yes. A lot of dialogue and like one third of the art is changed. Yeah, a thousand because if you, if, okay, it's no secret that Savro's a god already. It's said in page one of the chapter, oh, sorry, page two of chapter yeah. four. Of course, a god has never died. Duh. Right? So that bit of information is like, I got this bit of information that doesn't work. Oh, cool. Now what? But now this is better because now you don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I recommend looking at this page directly in the website if you want to see more details. Especially for a lot of the extra drawings that are happening here. Mm hmm Although on Twitch, it's coming in a lot more crisp than it, than it does over Discord, so that's a good thing. Yeah, that's good. Look at it directly against your eyeballs. I'm surprised oh, nobody... Oh, to the eyeball. Can you zoom on Skepsy? Which Skepsy? Uh, the, the, the second one, that's panel two. I'm surprised nobody played this. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! <laughs> All right, the yeah. holes. Yeah, that that one was my favorite of the entire set because the holes are there. Oh yeah, whoops. No, it's fine. Um. Okay, next page. Oh, you get the easy one. <laughs> yeah, I do. How dare you? You always tried to cheer me up, but I was so. Week. We were going to explore the universe together. I ruined it all. It's my fault you were gone. I made a mistake. Skipper, you ran away. I didn't mean to. Aqua, where are you? Meredith, I'm sorry. Please wake up. It's all my fault. I'm a defective Star Warrior. I failed everyone. There's a There's few changes else? here. Yeah, there are a few changes here. Mainly story changes. 
Mm-hmm. Also, I, for dramatic effect, I was like making. Yeah, you can see you can see it on the first panel, but I think that's fine. But I, I made Skepsy like fade away in some of these, and it read weird. Yeah, it was really hard to see. And something I want to point out that most people don't know: this page, and this page, these two pages used to be one in the same. They used to be one page. <laughs> oh no, you Mario! Did. You cracked it. Cra you cracked it. Yeah. Oh, that's actually pointed directly at the center of that crack there. Yeah, that was perfect. And yeah, those... this page and this page used to be all one page. It was. It was. <laughs> it was if, hard to read. If there was ever a point where Gunny was like basically being co-writer, I think it was at this point when he looked at the page and said, "I don't get it." Yeah, so I actually repaneled the page. the page. I split it into two pages. I, re I rewrote the script for the two pages and even guided Scott on how to visualize it. Like, it was my idea to have Anthrax down there crying with the memory splintering out from the bottom. Yeah, because in the past he was, like, crying at the bottom with, like, all the scenes happening on top, too. Yeah. It, it was a very confusing paneling for the comic. So... It was a mix of Anthrax remembering and recalling events. The way oops. it's too much happening at once, it's overwhelming even for the readers. Yeah, the way I pitched it was just have the comic literally falling apart, showing that memories are skipping, time is all over the place, mm -hmm. events are happening, basically starting to panic, and just recollection of individual scenes, and then culminated as just everything he's mourning about. Yeah. Uh, it, it's supposed to be, we're supposed to make the readers know that he's in panic, not to make the readers feel like they're in panic by just looking yeah. at the page. So, it was a very big important to... Rat does need therapy. Uh, that, I mean, he's having some right now. This is what it is. This is therapy, uh, actually. <laughs> Cotton is trying his best to help, but it's not panning out, as you can see. He's starting to have a breakdown. Okay, next page? Yes, next page. <clears throat> Master Anthrax, oh, sorry, Mr. Anthrax, please snap out of it. You're not a defective Star Warrior, you hear me? Don't blame yourself for what you didn't have control over. You're a great Star Warrior, okay? Cotton, could you have maybe not shook me that hard? Oh, sorry, my master. I had no idea so much was going on, honestly. You heard? Anthrax, you mumbled the whole time. You know you can rely on us to support you. I don't want to bother any- Dash, Calm down now. By the stars, Weaver, what are you doing now? It is, it's called petting you, silly. I always knew you were a soft boy, despite your grumpy rat act. Don't call me soft boy. Whatever, soft boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everyone, we're here. Where are we exactly? I've never traveled this far before. A place we haven't been in a long, long time. We're visiting an old <gasps> friend ours to make sure everything is okay i also need their help that planet is well oop i accidentally drew instead <laughs> red as f whoa though royal is its real name we call it crimson forest for that reason we also call it home called it home the planet is flash day nothing like the fade dawn we went to weaver Huh? Don't worry, Weaver. We will explain the BAT system once we arrive. I made it up, you know. Don't lie. You and you and I came up with it alongside that other bat. I never lie. I just forget stuff. By the way, I got 27 points dodging meteors. Sweet. This is not a reference to the Chernobyl Red Forest. No, it's absolutely not. <laughs> also, I noticed something that we need to fix. Oh, yeah? I'm waiting to see if you'll notice it. Let's see. Let me count real quick. Uh, what panel is it? Are you going to DM me the panel? No. You get to guess while I type. Oh, okay. Uh, 
I'll DM you what I think is wrong, I guess. No, just say it out loud. Really? Yeah. Oh, then it's not that then. Then it would be because it would be big spoilers. Never mind. No, there's no spoilers whatsoever. See, this is y'all are right now experiencing why QA exists, why beta readers are good. Because none of us noticed this until I just not noticed this. And I had to triple guess what I was looking at. Why am I even because looking at I can't it? believe none of us caught this. What is happening? Oh, the space there? Are uh, the ellipses? That's There's it? no tail for Weaver's bubbles here. No way! <laughs> Look, God damn no it! Tail. <laughs> oh my god! You see, nobody saw it! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no one noticed. It just it's one of those things that your brain just inserts. Look, I'm, I'm going to draw it right now. That. That's missing. Yeah. That's missing. <laughs> I hate life. <laughs> no one noticed this. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you, you already know how I feel. Yeah. It didn't even show right, but whatever. This is page 43 of chapter 4, panel 6. Weaver bubbles are missing a tail. I should make that gunny more visible, I think. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do I have to suffer so much? Take care, Cheesy. Take care, Cheesy. Oh my god. Memo driller. Oh wait, did you see the typo in the one page? Hold, hang on. <laughs> what do you mean typo in the one page? We fixed a lot of typos. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm wrong. Okay. Phew. <laughs> Phew. Yay. Okay. Okay, right, now the gunny should be more visible when I play the suffering gunny noise. There we go. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> The letter just looked different from the stream video. Oh, that's oh. really weird. That's an interesting effect, too. I had just been the encoding, yeah. All right, so we'll have to fix that when we, when I have yep. to do the f that legit final Q. We are at 12 edits, potentially. Oh, God. All right, next page. Oh, G looked like an S. Oh, that's interesting. Your turn. Dang it, I thought I was going to explain the bat system again. I, I always make that mistake. <laughs> it's like many pages later. It's about like, ooh, it's about like 17 more. Okay, Foxy, these are the training grounds of Polaris. Granting wishes is all well and good, but we need to train you for combat as well. It's too small for battle, I think. True, but there's plenty of room outside for large-scale flashy training combat. Won't I break stuff if I use my thunder collar? Yes, but Polaris repairs itself slowly. I do hope we still have room to have time for more of your very inquisitive questions, Esmeralda. While I think your darkness is a problem, anyone who desires to learn can't be all that bad. I'll give you a chance. Thank you, mister. Esmeralda used to not thank him. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fix. <laughs> all right, enough talk. More action. So, the most important part about Star Warrior combat is to know that we have a very important weak point. Our death marks are also considered a window to our cosmic flow. You could say that your death mark is also very deadly. I hate you so much, Irene. Huh? Who's there? Hey, it seems that I, Queen Irene, must teach you a thing or two about being distracted. I asked who's there, Esmeralda. Is this, is the darkness bringing about this behavior? I certainly hope not. I'm very sorry, Miss Butterfly. It's Queen Irene. It's just that I could swear there was someone standing right there. You're probably tired from your trial today. I know. Let's study instead of training. Oh no, Ezekiel. I am not letting you take her away from me right now. 
I, Queen Irene, I hate her, will train <laughs> this dark star warrior to meet her maximum potential. There is potential in our minds, too. Silence, nerd. <laughs> Queen Irene likes to announce herself all the time. We increased the opacity. Yeah, the opacity was increased for his invisibility. Oh, what? Yeah. So you can... So the saw is more visible. Yeah. Yeah, that was another thing of nobody was noticing it, and it was an element of the story, so mm -hmm. now everybody can see it. It is more clear, yes. <laughs> oh, I... Wait, hold on, keep it there? Is someone gonna... I already, I already sense people want to press some buttons, you know. That's not the one I expected. <laughs> okay, never mind. Right. I, I, guess, I guess no boops then. Milo's in here. Ah, uh, okay, Milo's <laughs> the one who was like, I want to boop his nose. Oh, it's on cooldown. Ah. Uh, mm. Well. I guess we can wait. Uh, Gunny, no. <laughs> he used to have like transparent dialogue here too that I forgot to render as well. So it's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> yep, goodbye dialogue. There it is. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> you found him. Good job. <laughs> and that's the end of chapter four. Okay, time for me to... Aren't you getting close to the end? This went a bit more swimmingly than I anticipated. I was spam clicking it too. <laughs> Listen, I know everyone wants to boop Sabra, okay? I hear about it all the time. Ah. So. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> My brain is wanting to get tired, but do we want to break for a little bit, Gunny? So that oh, everyone can have a, a break. A small too. break. Yeah. yeah. Everyone, go get a drink. Stand up and stretch. Use the restroom. We're gonna go use the restroom and get refreshments and stuff. Yeah. We'll be back in a few minutes. Yep. Stay tuned. Wrong one. <laughs>